In this video, I am going to discuss how we can do routing. <coughs> I am running uh, Linux uh, Red Hat um, Enterprise uh, 4 and I have installed Webmin and I shall log into Webmin now. It's 192.168.80.201 for loan uh, 10,000. This is um my webmail okay now i'm i shall um, show you how to create virtual ip addresses okay um just a sec okay let me find putting um yeah it's here yeah, this one putty then let's log in 192.16 oops 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 here okay 192.168.80.201 and um, let's increase the size actually this time um let's make it bold and size 16 uh okay and open okay now my putty open and login as root with the password my password okay i'm logged in uh, it will take some time let's uh, wait for it anyways um, while we are waiting uh, let's go to networking from webmin and scroll down to network configuration uh, keep it in this way uh, let's see if it came okay it came let's clear the screen now let's um, again my volume is full okay um, now let's check the IP address I have config I have config and oh oops okay I have uh, tested it actually that's why uh, let's do something reboot reboot let's see uh, so I'm going to reboot now yeah that's what I want I'm doing I want it to reboot now let's see um, is it rebooting Yep, it is rebooting indeed. As you can see, it's rebooting. Let's see, uh, yeah, it should not work now. Uh, actually, what uh, happened is that um, when you install uh, Linux, um, you're going to probably have only two of this. Uh, ET zero stands for Ethernet zero, and um, this one of course the server was out and this one l0 um, l0 means loopback address and it's your loopback address that's 127.0.0.1 now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create one of these these are ethernets we are going to create one of these well not really but virtually let's uh, start putty again b u t t Again, sir, put it again and 192.168.0.201. Let's increase the size as well. Bold and put in. Uh, here it open now. Okay, still opening. Um, okay, now let's check what to do. Okay, I'm going to network interfaces okay of course the page is dead okay i'm going to pause the video actually let it uh, boot up then i shall continue okay now let's log in um login is root and the password mm. I'm going to show you the IP addresses here, the Ethernets. Um, it's um, routing actually means one um, IP address means one server is going to create n number of IP addresses and is going to route to all of them. It's very interesting actually. 
IP config. Let's see. Uh, okay. For my test purposes, I had uh, made this one. This is permanent now. I can change it now. Uh, but uh, we are going to add something like this. Okay. Now let's begin. Uh, go to this network interfaces and this page opens up and as you can see it says net uh, interfaces active now scroll down and it says interfaces activated at boot time so this is the permanent one and you need something like this okay now click on eth0 ethernet 0 then uh, click on add virtual interface then the net mask is given by default because the class C let's make a class A 10.1.1.200 and let's say the net mask is um, since it's class A the mask is going to be uh, 255.0.0.0 and the broadcast is going to be 10.255.255.255.255 okay uh, then uh, click this create and apply okay 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 yeah obviously okay I mean, let's give this ethernet 0 colon let's say 2 because 1 is already used up give the ip endpoint then broadcast 255.0 oh sorry sorry 10 point yeah this one yeah appear uh, and apply so this is done actually you can add as many um, cards as you want here in this manner just scroll down and click on this 880 and uh, click on this add virtual interfaces now let's check our result let's increase the size a bit because to see this thing okay i have config and as you can see it's eth1 here and eth2 has been added here and this is the way you add um, more ip addresses okay um now i'm going to show you how to um, do the actual routing thing um, okay um, go to your configuration here <coughs> my one is this one click on properties okay it opened up scroll down internet protocol version 4 this thing and make sure your virtual ip which you are going to use that is in the same network as your computer's ip this should be in the same network so this this technically should be 10 point something point something point uh, something because it's class a and subnet mask should be given carefully and this one use the following dns server okay the dns server and the default gateway please give your virtual ip address for, um, enter your virtual ip address here and here and uh, clear this thing alternate dns server clear it so default gateway equal to preferred dns server equal to your linux virtual ip which you created us now then after this is done log into your webmin and create another site this is as simple as that so this is all for this video thank you so much uh, if you like it do it like and do share it with your friends. Thank you.